Ghana's increased taxes on imported goods passed 40% this year, making sanitary parts unaffordable to many school age girls and women. School officials say females skip classes during their periods, about 40 days per year, to avoid embarrassment when makeshift parts such as clothes leak. The loss of education can hold girls and women back economically, a cycle known as period poverty. We have a lot of girls. Mostly our school has the girls' population more than the boys. And academically, the girls perform more than the boys. So if these menstrual issues will be picking them away from their classes, is a major concern. So we need something to be done. The Ghana Girl Guide, a Girl Scout partner, has petitioned the government and parliament since 2019, urging leaders to scrap taxes on sanitary parts. As much as they are giving us excuses with the current situation and the economy and all that, I don't think um, that is helping us because the ripple effect of the girl not being able to get the sanitary pad will cause more economic um, issues for the country if we don't address it as early as we can. Ghana's female lawmakers say there is not enough political will to waive taxes on sanitary pads. We must sustain the pressure. And I've discussed this with many people. You see, I'm inside and working with those outside. There are some things I can do on the inside, but I need people from outside to help me. The Research and Counseling Foundation for African Migrants, Rec Farm, has found another way to address the high cost of imported parts. The aid group makes them locally out of biodegradable banana fiber for about half the price for rural school girls and women. But without sponsorship, the increased taxes this year could force them to stop producing. The high cost of uh, materials, especially the imported materials that we have. Like for example, we just upgraded our facility, we got the machine, but then we, the, the materials are, they, they are almost outdated, so we can't use it anymore. And to import them with the tax increments and all of that, we cannot do anything. Supporters say the long-term solution to keep vulnerable girls and women in school is to keep pushing Ghana's lawmakers until they agree to a tax waiver on sanitary parts. Senator Anutod for VOA News, Bon, Ghana.